hear the term focus, or the word focus, I immediately think back to school, always. And I don't know, I was a always ended up falling a lot and stuff, so my never was very focused in school. I was homeschooled, so this was my parents' technique. By the time I hit high school, they gave me the book. They said, this is, this, this is the information you need to learn. Your test is next week. Good luck. And so all I, I would do is I'd, I'd read it. Yeah, that was, the, that was how. So I would read through it. I would get it. If I didn't understand something, I'd ask them. If they didn't understand it, I'd look it up. Um, <laughs> and, but it was a lot of studying involved and a lot of stuff to understand what was going on. And my focus on anything has never been school. Even if it's something I'm super into, I, super, I really like it a lot, I, I tend to drift around to other things. And so I'm sitting there in my room studying, and I'm, I'm getting ready for the test, and all of a sudden my mind's on somewhere else, and all of a sudden I'm doing something totally different, and I have trouble the next day with the, with the test, because I couldn't keep my focus on one thing. And a lot of times, with our life and our walk with God, we do the same thing. We got something we want to focus on, which is God, and that's what we want to focus on, and that's what we want our life to be about. But something happens and we're focused on something else and it drifts away from God. Even if that's not what we want to be focused on. Even if that's not even what we want. Paul says that all the time in, his, in Romans. He says it, uh, what does he say? He says, uh, he says what I, paraphrase, is paraphrase, but what he says is, um, I, I, can't, I can't keep doing what I don't want to do. But what I want to do, what my heart wants to do, I just can't seem to do it. And he's talking about with a struggle with sin, what he wants to do, which is follow God's law. He says, I, my body just can't seem to do it. I keep messing up. I keep messing up over and over and over. Paul had a great focus on God. He always wanted to be with God. But even him, he would, even with Paul, he would get distracted. He would look off to the side. And I noticed that with our lives, that happens a lot. We get distracted from this to that, this to that. And we always just have trouble focusing on God as years and time go by. But this morning, I, asked that I would say that we all focus in on God today as we pass the cup around because the Lord's Supper is all about, uh, it's all about Jesus. It's all about God. It's focusing on what, his, on the sacrifice he gave us today and who he is. In Romans chapter 8, verse 37, 38, 39, it says, no, no, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am convinced that neither, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus' love is... Huge. I heard one guy, I asked, he asked him, how big is God's love? And he says, is, is this big? And it took me a while to figure it out because I thought he was literally trying to measure out the size. And I, I couldn't understand what he was talking about. He says, it's so big that he died for you. Jesus' love is so big that he died in the most painful way possible for you so that you wouldn't have to, so that you can live with him. And I don't know about you, but that is something to focus on. And yeah, it just happens. We're human. We drift off and back and forth. But today, let's focus on that. Let's focus in on the love Jesus has for us. As we take the bread, focus in on the life he spent here on this earth with us, talking to us, teaching us the, the way. And when we take the cup, focus in on the sacrifice he gave for us. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for your amazing love. The, the love that attracts us, the love that shows us who you are, the, the love that draws us to you. God, I pray that we, we all focus on that love and that, that love help that we fo continue to focus on the, the, our, the re our whole week and that guides our week and that as we walk through our, our, as we go through our week and through our day, that we just focus on, on you and we're always looking at you and the love that you have for us. Thank you just so much for everything you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen.